Hey gang, quick video today. This is going to be simply a, a, a limited uh, application, a limited situation. All right, you've got a stock LT1 small block Chevy or you have a small block Chevy that come with this type of oil pan. This is a stock oil pan. You put a stroker in. Do you have to get a stroker oil pan? Uh, no. One of the best pans, I, in my opinion, is the stock pan. They fit good. They don't leak. Uh, you know, body clearance uh, for the car and the chassis. So I already know two spots that always need clearancing, and it's the front two rods, number one and two, when they swing low, they'll need clearance in here. And then sometimes this rear counterweight will hit here. So if you know those spots, uh, what I'll do is I'll show you how I do it. Then I put the pan on and I see if that worked on the pre-clearance. And if it didn't, you see the witness mark and then do some more clearance in. So stick with me after the break, I'll show you. <laughs> So what I'll do is clearance right in this area. And it's just like this. Put it on a soft spot and I just hammer. Little dimple is all you need. That might be enough, you never know. Okay, now I'll put the pan on without a gasket because if it clears without the gasket, well, then it'll clear with the gasket. All right. Bear with me, I need oil pan bolts. All right, I got my oil pan bolts. There is some kind of interference right now. It may be the caps. Because it bolts all the way down. Everywhere, except uh, right here. Let me just tighten this up. need to bend the pan. All right, now we just turn it over. If it can turn over, if, if there's binding, go the other way until you get binding. You just want to get a little witness mark so you're not getting little shards of metal inside the uh, motor. Do a few more revolutions. Look for witness marks. Oh, I know exactly what it was. These studs right there. So check that out. That needs to be clearance right there. This spot over here, nothing hit. You can see the counterweight here. That counterweight will hit the pan sometimes, but not this time, They're right in this area. These rod bolts will get up here and if you have these taller studs they're going to hit and that's what was keeping it from getting uh, bolted down so that can be massaged it was a very 
Oh, I'd say it might have been at most a quarter inch, so we'll see if I can massage that. All right. All right, off camera. What it looks like underneath. You see. Let's see what we have now. Definitely tight all through. Now let's do the moment of truth. And if you can't feel it or you know hear it, you will be able to see a witness mark when you pull the, the pan off. So Well, that would be over here. Uh, so, no markings. You could just pre-clearance there if you want to. Just it's right on the edge. No marks at all here. So this pre-clearance worked. And if you don't have studs, you don't need to do that. So, all right. I hope this quick tip helped. Uh, pre-clearancing of your oil pan for the typical stroker, small block Chevy or LT1. Chevy. This is Carl Elwine. Take care.